Okay, we're going to talk about special right triangles today. So special right triangles are going to be super important when we get to trigonometry. So for a 45, 45, 90, the relationship is A, A, A root 2. So down here in this problem, if we label this A, A, A root 2, all we need to do is look at the relationship. So a is a, so that means this x value here is going to be 8, oops, sorry, and 8 root 2. Now remember, this is an isosceles, so two of the sides is going to be the same because we have two angles that are the same. So we have a, a, a root 2. So that means we have 25, 25 root 2. We have a, a, a root 2. Now this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. If 19 is equal to a root 2, and we're going to solve this for a, we have 19 root 2 is equal to a. Now it's great, but we can't have a square root in the denominator. So we need to multiply the top and bottom. So 19 root 2. And if we take the square root of 4, we just get 2. So we could, I'm going to tell you that when you have n is equal to x root 2, then n, then x is equal to n root 2 over 2. Always going to happen. So the next type of triangle we have is a 30, 60, 90. So where we have B, B root 3, and 2B. So if we label this triangle down here, we have B, B root 3, and 2B, and we know 5 is B, then we could fill in the rest. Same thing for number 2, we have 14 times 2 is 28, and we have 14 root 3. Now for number 6, it's a little bit different because we don't know what x, we don't know what b is, but we know what 2b is. So we need to divide 32 by 2 to get 16, so that means x is 16 and 16 root 3. Same thing for this one. 46 divided by 2 is 23. 23 root 3. For this one over here, it's the same thing that we encountered before, where we have 20 is equal to b root 3. So we need to divide and solve for b. You can't have a square root on the bottom, so we have to rationalize. So we get 20 root 3. And 3 times 3 is 9, square root of 9 is 3. So that's where we get 20 root 3 is equal to b. And if you're going to just figure out what 2b is, then you do 40 root 3 over 3. You just multiply that top number by 2. Okay, so for this next problem here, we have... This is easy to represent what b is because if we have 9 root 3 and b root 3, the number that's in front of the square root is just what b is. So we have x is 9 and 18. Okay, now to do some mixed practice, I'm going to roll through these. a, a, a root 2. So this is 28 root 2 over 2, and we can simplify that to 14 root 2. We 
we have b, b root 3, 2b. So that means b is 8, 8 root 3. Act, oops, sorry. A, A, A root 2. So we have 4 and 4 root 2. We have B, B root 3 and 2B. So we have 11 root 3 and 22. We have B root 3, B and 2B. So that means B is 15 and 30. Then we have a, a, a root two. So that means a for both of these is nine. We have b root three, b and two b. So that means we are going to do six root three over three. And six divided by three is two. So we have two root three, and four root three. Are we allowed to go now? For this one we have a a a root a root two, sorry. So that means that ten square root of ten square root of two over two. So this one caught like is a little bit more um simplifying. So that means that a is the square root of 5, square root of 5. So 38 divided by 2 is 19. And the last couple of problems, they, these are a mix. These um, require us to do both. Um, types of triangles. So we have to start with the one that has a letter. So this would be B, 2B, B root 3. So for this would be 9 times 2, which is 18. I'm going to rewrite this as 9 root 3. Down here we have A, A, A root 2. So if you did writing the wrong number. So it'd be nine root six over two for both of them. We have a, a, a root two. So that means X is 32 root two. And this is 32. And over here we have b root 3, b, and 2b. So figuring out 32 divided by 2 is 16, 16 root 3. Two b, b, b root 3. So x is 6. And here we have a, a, a root 2. So we would have y as 6 root 3, and this would be 6 root 3 root 2, which is 6 root 6. Here we have... Um, Two B B B root three. So this is going to be seven times two is fourteen root three, and this is just seven times root three times root three. 
So 3 times 3 is 9. Um, square root of 9 is, sorry, I'll write this out. Goodness gracious. So this is 21. And then again over here we have b, b root 3 and 2b. So we have 21 root 3 and 42. And the last two problems. So that means z is 15. This is 15 over here. And we have b root 3, b, and 2b. So that means that y would be 15 root 3 over 3 and 30 root 3 over 3, which re actually reduces, oh my goodness, So this is reduces to 5 root 3, and then this would be 10 root 3. Last problem. Z would be 18 root 3 over 3, which reduces to 6 root 3. So this would be 12 root 3. And then we have a, a, a root 2. So this would be 12 root 3 root 2 over 2. And there you go. Hope that helps.